Performing Diagnostic A Scan with the LXI Cubed. Performing Diagnostic A Scan with the LXI Cubed is easy, fast, and accurate. The first step is to ensure that the 8 MHz A Scan probe is connected to the I Cubed and to turn on the system. The patient screen is displayed. Type a patient ID and click Enter. With an existing patient, the previously entered data will automatically display. Entering a new patient ID prompts the user to answer yes to creating a new patient. As an alternative, the system can automatically generate a new patient ID. See Option in the General tab under Utilities. The new patient data can then be entered followed by clicking Save. Check that the patient information is complete on the summary screen. To begin an examination session, you must select the examiner as well as the physician ordering the exam. At times, the examiner and physician will be the same. A default examiner and physician may also be selected. At this point, it is possible to add a suspected diagnosis that will be saved in the patient's file. Click Begin Session to start the examination. Choose the eye to be examined by clicking on OS for the left eye or on OD for the right eye. Choose the scan mode, Diagnostic A Scan, by pressing F3 or by clicking on the third icon under Scan Modes. Local anaesthetic drops are applied to the eye to be examined. Note that many times both eyes are dropped to deter excess blinking. The patient's tear film will usually be sufficient to ensure good conduction of sound beam. Press the left foot switch or F11. The probe will be placed in contact with the limbus on the open eye. The operator can examine just the globe up to 45mm depth in the eye position or also examine the orbit up to 70mm in depth in the orbit position. The gain setting at the start of the exam is the tissue sensitivity for the probe or T. It is displayed on the screen. Standardised echography indicates the gain used in an examination as a function of T, T plus or T minus so that results are repeatable. The tissue sensitivity is determined in the factory using a special tissue model and stored under patient ID 1234. The solid state electronics of the eye cubed ensure that this setting does not vary. The eye is visualised in hours as on a clock face. Then each hour is imagined as a line running from the limbus to the optic nerve, rather like lines of longitude around the earth. As the transducer is fixed, the examiner will move and angle the probe to scan the eye. If a lesion is found, its position can be noted depending on where it is situated on one of the clock hour lines, close to the ciliary body, at the aura serrata, before the equator, at the equator, behind the equator, closer to the posterior pole and at the posterior pole. These positions are like the lines of latitude on the Earth and help to orientate the examiner and the referring physician. Diagnostic A scan is generally performed after a B scan. If a lesion is detected on B scan, Diagnostic A scan concentrates on this one area where a lesion has been found. It would not be necessary to perform a complete screening of every clock hour in order to determine an abnormality, as this has most likely been done with the B scan. The patient looks towards the area to be examined. If a lesion is noted superiorly, the patient looks up. The probe is placed at 6 opposite the lesion. By shifting the probe using micro-movements, the initial lesion spike is maximised and by evaluating the spikes between the initial spike and the scleral orbital spikes, the diagnostic information is obtained. The gain is then lowered from tissue sensitivity to measure the lesion. It is important to remember to always maintain perpendicularity to obtain accurate diagnostic information. Each time the left foot switch is pressed, or F11 is pressed, 
to stop the scanning, the iCubed remembers the last five seconds, or 254 frames. The operator can then go back frame by frame using the mouse or by turning the second black knob on the front panel to re-examine different aspects and images of the pathology at their desired pace. The 254 frames can also be played as a movie and then saved as individual images or as a movie. The measurement scale is in microseconds of ultrasound time. It is possible to make a measurement in millimetres using the ruler in the editing tools and the chosen media velocity, which depends on the tissue to be measured. In this example, 1,550 metres per second. The caliper is on the lower left side under editing tools. Both keyboard and editing tools can be used. Other editing tools are available on the A mode image. It is possible to position arrows and text boxes for educational or referral purposes. To save an image, the operator simply clicks on the second icon at the bottom right below the A scan screen or by depressing the right foot switch. The Pro position can be entered at this point either by clicking on the appropriate icons or typed in manually. The image that has been saved goes into the image tray for the eye being examined. A movie can also be stored. In order to save memory space, it is best to crop the sequence and only save useful images. Shorten the sequence by sliding the end markers along the bar and click on the fourth icon, Crop Movie, before clicking on the third icon to save it. The icons on the lower left of the screen control how to play the movie. Hovering the cursor over each icon displays each of their functions. Images and movies in the image tray can be reloaded for further examination. Double click to load. It is also possible to examine images from a previous session performed on the same patient. As soon as patient examination is complete, clean the probe and place upright in the probe holder. For further information, please refer to the iCubed instruction manual available under the Help tab on the iCube system. Or visit the LX website at www.lx.com.